G'day everyone, it's Joe here from the KissPrinciple.net with your weekly word this week. And yes, I know it's a little bit late. What can I say? We've had a busy time in our family. Large family, five kids, end of school activities, stuff to do. But we got there at the end and I am filming this weekly word for you right now. So, weekly word. We're not far out from Christmas. And what I want to challenge you with this week is what does Christmas mean to you? You know, if you were to go to the shops and you believe um, what they're saying there with the commercialization of everything, we all led to believe that Christmas is about getting the latest PlayStation, Xbox, ultra high definition, 55 inch TV, hang that on your wall, or the iPhone X. That is what the Christmas spirit is all about. Now, I can guarantee this is what's gonna happen. You get your ultra high definition TV, you put it on your wall about three, four days, week to two weeks maybe if you're doing well you look at it and you go hmm yeah now what happened other than incurring the credit card debt and everything else that went along with getting that uh, uh, UHD TV on your wall now is it possible that this side of Christmas you know the commercialization and the 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 ho 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 and all that kind of stuff I mean it, it's not the be all and end all to what Christmas is all about. Now, Joe, are you saying you can't do any of that sort of stuff at Christmas? No, absolutely not, I'm not saying that. Christmas is all about giving, but that's not, I believe, the be all and end all, okay? I believe that the Christmas message and the Christmas spirit goes far more deeper than just that surface part with the commercialization and, and other stuff that goes along with it. Now, I need to remind myself a little bit here that I grew up knowing the Christmas story. Some of you may have heard of the nativity story, the story about Jesus' birth, that sort of thing. But there is a lot of people out there that have not heard about this or even investigated about it. What is the true meaning of Christmas um, when it comes to that, the Christmas story? Now, if you've never picked up a Bible before and you've got a Bible, may I encourage you to go read the Gospel of Luke. Or if you haven't got a Bible, um, go to Google. There's a whole bunch of um, different resources out there available that you can look at the Christmas story and look online at the Gospel of Luke. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to come to God with a sincere heart and say, you know, God, I'd like to find out more about what the true message of Christmas is about, what the Christmas story of God's only son, Jesus, coming to planet Earth, becoming a baby. I want to know more what that's about. Now, I don't want you coming at this with a critical mindset. Now, I think in Colossians, I think it's either chapter 2 or chapter 3, it says that um, God's truths and his wisdom are hidden in Christ Jesus. So if you approach this with a critical mindset, ready to pull it apart, you're not going to see anything. But if you come at it sincerely, you are going to see some deep truths that God is going to show you about this through his wisdom, his knowledge that comes through the Spirit of God that not only will the Christmas story, the birth of Jesus, become real to you and deep to you, not only will you see that, but you will also start to see things in life in general in a very, very different way. And that's my challenge to you this week in the Weekly Word. Don't just look at things on Christmas about the surface stuff, the presents, the commercialization, the parties and all that sort of thing. Are you saying that's wrong, Joe? No, I'm not saying that's wrong. But let's start looking at something which is just a little bit more deeper than that. So as always, don't forget to subscribe to us on this channel, thekissprinciple.net. Like us on our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. My name's Joe. You help yourselves a great week. God bless.